Okay, number nine, it's our last one. We're looking at dividing. And you probably see the problem here. We have an x cubed and then 64. So when we divide, we're going to have 125 x cubed. And we have to add in the x squared. We have to add in the x before we can write the negative 64. And we're dividing by 5x minus 4. So focus on 5x and 125x cubed. What do we need to multiply by? Well, maybe we should start with 125 divided by 5. <laughs> so we need to multiply by 25, and then we have three x's, or we have one and we need three. So it's going to be 25x squared when we multiply to get that 125x cubed. And then 25 times negative 4 is negative 100, and we have x squared. So let's subtract both terms. What happens to the signs? This becomes negative, and then the negative becomes a positive. That cancels out, and we have 0 plus 100. 100 x squared, and bring down the 0 x. Okay, let's do it again. We have 5x and we need 100x squared. So what do we need to multiply by? Well, what's 100 divided by 5? 20. And then x because we have 2 and we're taking out 1. So same thing, we got to multiply both of these. 20 times 5 is 100, x times x is x squared, 20 times negative 4 is negative 80x. Okay, I'm going to subtract both of these, so the signs change to negative and negative, negative, positive. Those cancel out, 0 plus 80 is 80x, and I'm going to bring down negative 64. Okay, last one, 5x and 80x. 5 times what is 80? Well, we divide. 5 times 16 is 80, so we're going to add 16. Why did I not erase that one? <laughs> and then multiply 16 times 5. We just figured that out. It's 80. x and then 16 times negative 4 is negative 64. These match so when we subtract the signs are going to change and we're going to get a zero remainder. Perfect. When there's a zero remainder that means that 5x minus 4 is a factor. Yes and our quotient is 25 x squared plus 20x plus 16. I almost did minus. Zero remainder, so yes, it's a factor. Yay!